Good day, my fellow Talanians. We are from STEM 11A, and we are here to give you some infos, facts, and trivias for the month of November. Now, let me start our presentation. My topic is about computer hardwares. Now, are you one of those people who call this as USB? Now, let me correct you now. These things are called USB flash drives or simply flash drives. And now the USB that you're telling me is this. This is called the USB port. This is where you insert your USB flash drive. Now, how about this one? We usually call this a CPU, but it is actually called a system unit. Do you get it now? How about, hmm... What do you call to the connector at the end of a LAN cable? It's called Register Jack 45 or RJ45. Now, we are done with my topic and let's go to the next presenter. I hope you learned something. Hi! Have you ever felt so anxious about what name of the Philippine fish you should write in your essay? Let me help you with that. Alumahan, long jawed mackerel, bisugo, goatfish, salay salay, yellow tail scad, galunggong, mackerel scad. It's well known in the Philippines because of its ship price and it's easy to find in the market. Dilis, anchovy, it's crunchy when it's fried. Kitang, spotted scat. Maya maya, red snapper. Tulingan, mackerel tuna. Lapu-Lapu, Grouper, Tilapia, St. Peter's Fish, and last, Hiwas, Moonfish. I hope you'd learn something. Facts about the English language that you probably didn't know yet. Let's start with number one. Words like swims retain the same meaning even when viewed at a different perspective. These words are called ambigram. Number two, did you know that English is the official language of the air? Yes, it means that the pilots need to speak in English at all times when they are flying somewhere. Number three, the word happy is used three times more than the word sad. And number four, the most common adjective used is the word good, while the most common used noun is the word time. And lastly, did you know that there's a name for the words we often use? Yes, they are called crutch words. These words are used even though they add no meaning or value to the sentence itself. They are there as a filler to give us more time to think about our responses. For example, like oh my god and like he went there and like oh my god and he like okay obviously the crutch word for this sentence is like other examples of crutch words are basically honestly and actually did you know that the word set has the highest number of definitions it has an outstanding 464 meanings. Over 80% of the information that is stored in computers was in English. The word LOL or LOL was added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2011. Many English words have changed their meanings over time. For instance, the word awful, it's used to mean inspiring wonder and was a short version of full of awful. The word goodbye is coming from an English old phrase, God be with you. Hi guys, Chloe here. I have another five English facts you probably didn't know. 
bookkeeper and bookkeeping are the only English words with three consecutive double letters, O, K, and E. Almost is the longest word in the English language with all its letters in alphabetical order. The dot on the small letter I, J, or even the exclamation point is called tittle. The word alphabet came from the first two letters of the alphabet, called alpha and beta. In 1945, few people are working on a malfunctioning computer and found a moth inside the circuit, which caused the computer to break down. Since then, the term bug in a computer was born. Hi again, everyone. Do you know what these foods are called in English? The Telandan in Central America is called as Green Mandarin. And this pepino, you'll know the English term in the next presenter. Vocabulary check! Can you translate these vegetables into English? First, malunggay. Horseradish. Number two, pepino. Cucumber, number three, labanos. Radish, number four, calabasa. Squash or pumpkin, number five, sitaw. String beans, number six, sinkamas. Turnip. Number seven, pipolio. Cabbage. Number eight, toge. Bean sprout. Number nine, mungo. Mug bean. And number ten, talong. Eggplant. Hi. This time, I'm gonna give you trivias about the English names of some of the fruits in the Philippines. Are you excited? Let's get started. First, Atis, sugar apple. Second, Chico, mad apple. Third, Duhat, Java plum. Fourth, Durian or golden pillow. Fifth, guyabano, or sarso. Sixth, mabolo, or velvet apple. Seven, makopa, rose apple, or water apple. Eight, santol, or cotton fruit. Nine, bitongol, or governor's plum. 10. Siniguelas or Spanish plum. And lastly, manzanitas or cursin fruit. Hope you had fun and learned something. Hey guys, I am Nivestine and one of the things I love is the Greek mythology. How about you? Hmm, well of course, who wouldn't love them, right? To enhance our knowledge about the Greek mythology, let's have a short question and answer. Are you familiar with that? Then are you ready? Then let's get started. Question number one. Who is the Greek god of love? A. Eros B. Aphrodite C. Cupid or D. Venus The correct answer is A. Eros Question number two. What creature in Greek mythology is half man and half bull? A. Centaur B. Cyclops C. Minotaur or D. Cerberus The correct answer is C. Minotaur Question number 3 Who is the Greek god of the dead and the king of the underworld? A. Hades B. Erebus C. Thanatos or D. Hypnos the correct answer is A. Hades Question number 4 Who is the goddess of rainbow? A. Rain B. Iris C. Prism or D. Electra The correct answer is 
B. It's Iris. Great job, guys! I hope you find this video so helpful and interesting. And now we're gonna dig into the world literature. This is world literature Pat Liss, who is the father of English poetry. A. William Shakespeare or B. Geoffrey Chaucer. The correct answer is B. Geoffrey Chaucer. What is the world's longest novel? A. War and Peace or B. Remembrance of Things Past The correct answer is B. Remembrance of Things Past How many chapters are in the Quran? A. 42 B. 140 The correct answer is B. 140. What is the world's longest running lake? A. The Mousetrap or B. Romeo and Juliet The correct answer is A. The Mousetrap Good job, guys! It's really interesting to learn world literature, right? Bye! Now this is the part we say goodbye. Thanks for watching and listening Talanyans and keep safe.